and your family. Welcome back to the Voice of Diabetes. This is Diana Bitucci. Today we are going to talk about potatoes. Uh, we all love potatoes, or I, I can at least say most of us love potatoes. Um, they're a fabulous source of nutrients and they have a lot of fiber. So we know that they are um, healthy for us. But today what we're going to do is find out which one is the best option for diabetics and which one is the best option in general. So let's get started. I am taking a medium-sized white potato against a medium-sized sweet potatoes. So this way we know that we're getting all the proper facts and we're comparing the two accurately. So um, on this chart here that I have placed, I have uh, the white potato and I have the sweet potato. So the white potato has 130 calories and the sweet potato has 90 calories, as you can see. The carbohydrates, and we know carbohydrates are very important when we're talking about diabetics or just in general, because we know carbohydrates turn into sugar, which I am going to discuss in further detail in another video. We want less carbs. The less carbohydrates in any food product, the better it is. That means the less sugar we're putting into our bodies. So the white potato has 29 grams of carbs and the sweet potato has 24 grams of carbs. Sugar content, yes, the white potato has less sugar, two grams, whereas the sweet potato has seven grams. But remember, we're also focusing a lot on the carbohydrates um, because the carbohydrates will include the sugar added as well, which I am going to discuss in further uh, length um, in a different video. The fiber content is also very important. We know that fiber is very essential and very beneficial. The more fiber there is in, in a food uh, product, the better it is, and especially with, um, you know, when we're talking about diabetes in delaying the absorption of glucose, which I will discuss further. Uh, but we know that the more there is, the better it is. So fiber, um, the white potato has three grams, the sweet potato has four grams, so that's great. Also, protein is very important. The white potato has three grams and the sweet potato has only two grams, so they're kind of close. But overall, um, the sweet potato has less carbohydrates and has uh, more fiber, which is very important. Although it does have more sugar, those two kind of outweigh the sugar content. I want to talk a little bit about vitamins and minerals. As I mentioned earlier, um, potatoes in general are a very good source of our nutrients and our vitamins and minerals. So let's compare that as well to see which one is the best option. If we're looking at the white potato, vitamin A, which is essential for our eye health. Vitamin A is very, very good for eye health. So uh, the white potato only has 14 IUs, which is very, very little. And then if we're looking at the sweet potato, it has 22,000 IUs. And then uh, if we're looking at the vitamin C, and we know vitamin C is good for our immune system. I think during COVID-19, we all learned how important it is to have a strong immune system. A lot of people were taking different supplements, trying to build the immunity, and we know that uh, vitamin C is very good for building our immune system. So vitamin C for the white potato is 17.4 milligrams, whereas vitamin C for the sweet potato is 22 milligrams. So that is pretty good. And then we're looking at B6, and if we're talking about B6, that's very good for our metabolism and our nervous system. Um, so that's essential, especially when we're talking about diabetes uh, with neuropathy and different complications that diabetes can cause. We want to make sure that we're, we're protecting the nerves and nourishing them. They're pretty much equal. Uh, both the white, white potato and the sweet potato have 0 0.3 milligrams of B6. Now, if we're looking at our minerals, and we know that minerals are important when we're talking about potassium and magnesium, they're good at regulating blood pressure. They're good cardiac minerals that also um, help the heart with the contractility. Uh, but we know that they're very important essentially for the heart and for blood pressure and maintaining things and, and keeping things stable. So if we're looking at potassium for the white potato it has 750 milligrams, whereas the potassium for the sweet potato is 542 milligrams. So they're not far off. Although um, sometimes if we're talking about patients with kidney disease who are, you know, they're restricted to how much potassium they can intake, this is also good to note that the sweet potato does have less potassium. And then the magnesium is 37 milligrams for the white potato, and the magnesium is 31 milligrams for the sweet potato. There's calcium in the sweet potato, and there's no calcium in the white potato. 
Calcium is 43 milligrams. And that is very good. We know that calcium is very good for maintaining healthy bones. Um, so we want to make sure, especially if we're talking about, you know, the um, younger adults or the adolescent age group who are still growing and their bones are still, you know, developing and getting stronger. We need calcium, which is why, you know, another reason why we see milk is good for children who are growing up. Um, but sweet potato is good for us as well because we still want to make sure we're keeping our bones healthy and preventing osteoporosis. A manganese also, which is not found in white potato, is found in the sweet potato at 0 0.57 milligrams. The manganese is very important for wound healing and unfortunately diabetics, especially those who are uncontrolled, have a harder time with wound healing. So this is something, you know, if you have an ulcer or anything like that that you're working on, or even if you, you know, cut yourself accidentally while you're cutting a cucumber or something like that, you know, diabetics have a harder time healing versus a non-diabetic. So the sweet potato has manganese, which also helps in uh, wound healing and um, metabolism in general. In conclusion, guys, um, sweet potato has 400% of your daily requirement of vitamin A. They also have more vitamin C, they have fewer calories, they have lower, lower carbohydrates, even though they do have a little bit more um, sugar than the, the white potato does. Those other benefits are so much greater, which make them the winning option. So although I say, you know, potatoes are starches, we wanna be careful, we don't wanna have too much but if you are going to choose in between the two and if that's going to be the starch with your meal then I, the sweet potato is the better option here it moderation is a key we don't want i know i i don't recommend a large sweet potato i sometimes recommend actually half of a medium potato 24 grams just for your starch if you're adding something else could can be a lot however if you are having a well-balanced meal and you want a medium sweet potato then that is totally um, okay and that is the better option for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe, like, share this video with someone that might find it enjoyable and I will see you guys all next time. Take care.